Say something real quick. I, I, I'm here. I think we're live. Yeah, we're live. What's up? Hello, everybody. And welcome to Friday Burncast. <laughs> and welcome back to our very special guest. I think he's from Kentucky. Is that is that, is that right? Well, that would be correct, uh, Mr. Chicken. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm still speaking British. Yeah. I, I am here in Kentucky. Yes, you can speak British if you want to. Well, uh, I find you here in Owensboro pretty interesting, I must say. Indeed. <laughs> in the Kentucky area. Kentucky. So, <laughs> oh, are you, <clears throat> yes. Are you being chicken? I'm very good. <laughs> I've asked you a question. I'm sorry, I forgot to introduce you. It's BG Fox, everybody, if you didn't recognize him. He's been on this show before. He used to be here in New York, and now he's in Transylvania. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's okay. But I do have a question. Did you find the colonel? The colonel? I, uh, I have. Uh, I think he was already he was six feet under when I found him. I'm sorry. I, okay. Because <laughs> you know why he said that. KFC. Nope. Mm -hmm. I know he's there. He's trying to hide, but I know where he is. I mean, he does serve some pretty good uh, food. Food? But, yeah, food. Because <laughs> he makes some... It's KFC. He's good. Who's good? He better not be good. How am I I mean, he's... Uh, so how you been, chicken? I'm good. You... I'm very good. <laughs> I'm very. You're just messing with me. I can't believe this. It's it's okay. Yeah, I, I'm evil. It's I mean, okay. it is Kentucky Fried Chicken. I don't like that stuff. We don't spill no profanity on the show. No think about chickens. Okay. <laughs> Please, I don't want nobody trying to eat me. So if I if I say if I mention fried chicken by any chance, I'll be quiet. That's good enough for me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey. I love it. Oh, it's good to have you back. There's a bit it's of a it's a lot of stuff been happening lately. Totally. In the media, we got a lot of catching up to do. Uh, I do miss the I do miss the Star Fox invasion, but that invasion is over, as you can see, and uh. We're basically here to conquer a planet in secret. I'm just working on some special agents for the rest of the uh, clan for the time being, just to relate some more messages from the, the media. media. But I am glad to be here. Wow. Are you going to protect me? Uh, I was thinking about it, but... Uh, what? Chickens, uh, they usually better, you know, you know deep fried and whatnot, but... Uh, Excuse me? I mean, they're usually better off, you know, when they're out on the farm, you know, running along with the, yes. you know, beef and all. Running with the superior species. Totally. <laughs> when they take over, we won't forget you. I better okay. not see any bones underneath your t your pillow. Of course not. Of course not, man. That's good. <laughs> well, hmm, well, you know what? We're going to get to the nitty gritty. <laughs> Let's talk about a subject that okay. has been on everybody's mind. Let's talk about female Thor. What are your thoughts on this new comic book? I mean, I look at her, I'm just, I mean, I would fear the original Thor comic, kind of, you know, was going for the, you know, the actual mythology of Thor, and I don't quite remember Thor ever being a lady, so... I'm trying to figure out, don't get me wrong, she looks good. She looks great. But it just, really? Like, I'm not being, you know, like, you know, racist against, you know, women like that. I'm just looking at her and just like, really? Like, I'm just like, hey, I mean, I'll give it a shot. It's just, eh, cat woman. <laughs> well, to be honest here, <laughs> the, the fact is that, I don't know if you read the comic. I, re I just read it today. Um, basically, she's just taking over because um, Thor is actually unworthy of the hammer. Since he's unworthy, he can't wield it. So a mysterious woman just picked it up and now she's Thor. Who knows? 
He might come back and get it. Yeah, it's interesting. It's not like Thor never existed in rebooting it. It's that she took it from him. Not really. Why he wasn't looking. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) And she makes it a bit better because Thor is still in the storyline. Well, one thing I noticed about that is that I remember somewhere, like, I was told, like, if you look, like, if you ever look up a show called Death Battle on YouTube, where they interview, like, every single hero that they put together against, like, a video game character or a comic book character or a movie character, like, there's, there's a match, there was a match between Thor and Mortal Kombat character Raiden, and they actually explain the times... Even I think even the time when it was Captain America versus Batman at one time that Captain America actually managed to pick up Thor's hammer because surprisingly, surprisingly, he was actually worthy of wielding the hammer, Mjolnir. Captain. So, it, I mean, the fact that he even fought Thor to a standstill was impressive to me. So, it's like it's not it's not like I'm saying like it's a major surprise to me. I'm not surprised. I'm just saying like it almost doesn't. It's like. I can almost see it coming for some reason. Hmm, interesting. So it's not much of a shocker, you're trying to say. A bit. That this happened. <laughs> but Sep is a female. That you know. It's it's okay <laughs> though. I mean I, I don't know what she I don't know what she's done, lady. She just picked it up at the end of the comic. I haven't seen a fight like the death battle one that you just said. So I, I don't know what's gonna happen. She picked it up and That was it. <laughs> it wasn't a big deal. She didn't do anything. Unless it's a second issue I haven't read yet. But I don't I mean, have a problem with it. I don't know why. Because we had this before. Remember when we had Thor Girl? Oh, yeah. Remember <laughs> let, me, let me see. Let me show it. Thor Girl. <laughs> she was there back then. I forgot her name. Teresa or something. So it's nothing new. So I don't, I don't know. Character. <laughs> I know. Well, there's a, there's just talk, let's go into the, another comic book. You know the okay. Fantastic Four, right? Of course. Well, let's go from this to this. Michael B. Jordan. <sighs> Human Torch. I, what what I, did I, you take? I just... I, I, see, what, what I'm about to say here, you can't call me racist because, well, I am black. Are you? Just like this dude right here. Oh. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, like I loved him in the movie Chronicles. Is like if the if the main character, you know, you see how evil he was. If they really, he went really with adding like in a fight or something like that, then likely he'll lose to this black dude like quite easily. If you ask me. <laughs> okay, with that aside, now Fantastic Four wise, you know, I just, I look, I understand the fact that you know they're trying to come out with like a I guess you know reboot the whole thing but I'm still trying to understand why because I kind of didn't enjoy the original one if, that's just me not the one with Silver Surfer but the one before that you mean with only Galactus? there was no Galactus it was just a giant cloud thing <laughs> thing over and Silver Surfer whatever he was a fog so, it's, it's just thank you it's just that somehow <clears throat> Sue Storm and Johnny Storm are both brother and sister you know, they're both last name Storm. Like, if these two were maybe, they were maybe, a, like, one of them was adopted or something like that, but it's just, it, to me, it just betrays the comic book entirely because, you know, again, like, they're known for, again, not being racist when I say this, be too white. <laughs> and, and, and basically, again, like, this must be brother and sister within the Fantastic Four. Like, I'm not I'm really seeing, so what? Like, so if he, if she gets married to, Mr. Fantastic, and I guess he comes, you know, the brother-in-law, it just, it's like, it's like, you replace, the dude who's playing Captain America for this, and the guy who's playing, Chris Evans, the one playing Captain America right now, he fit that role, Human Torch, so perfectly, I'm sorry. It's true. Perfectly to me, because, you know, he had the look, he had the act, he, he had, the, like, the, the, the feel, that we, he, you know, the, did the whole come out of the shower steam thing. It just like it, to me, it just all that about him just made perfect sense. The act and everything. This dude, he ha- may have the act, no lie, no lie at all. He may actually have the right act and everything for it, but it's just the look, what? And it, I, brother and sister and Sue. Uh, <laughs> uh, you, you know, right now they have to make her adopted now. 
You do know that now. It kind of makes sense. I mean, if you're going to make Michael G. Bor I'm sorry, B. Jordan, you know, kind of get tongue twisted there. But if you're going to make him the Human Torch, then you're going to have to make her adopt it. It wouldn't make any sense. So they're actually making Sue Storm adopt it. It's official. So wait, 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 wait. Sue Storm's adopted, not Johnny Storm? Yes. Sue Storm. It's over. I know. The best, the, the weird part is that Michael B. Jordan is probably the best actor in the movie. Everybody else, I'm not going to even show them. I didn't even see the movie yet. I know they're going to get, I'm going to get backlash that I haven't seen the movie yet, but if you look at him, no way. I'm going to give it the Ben Affleck treatment. Yo, man. Even though I'm open for that one. If you saw the teaser. All right. If you saw the teaser. But I'm not going to um, go there. Oh, the teaser for Superman and Batman? Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen it. I thought it was cool. It was awesome. I love it. I mean, it. I didn't. But here's the thing. I, I didn't. I didn't go to the. I didn't go to any comic cons to see it. I saw it online when somebody had it up there for like a few days, and eventually somebody, I guess, on YouTube must have took it down. So oh, yeah. I somehow caught it. Yeah, I, it, that's what happened. But you saw the animated series eyes, right? With Batman, when Superman was staring at him. Zoo. Yeah. Mm, I wish I was in the movie. Could they come my eyes? I could do it too. Trust me, I won't do it here because there's kids watching. <laughs> well, that's that's one aspect of the movie. I don't want to traumatize anybody else. You know what? I have something worse. You ready? A reboot. Yeah. Not a reboot of a movie. A reboot of this. Let me get a little closer look at Full oh. House. Oh. No, Full House, Full House. Everywhere what? you go, everywhere. It's a, I don't know the real words, but bear with me. <laughs> Remember Full oh. House? Danny Tanner, Joey Glaston, cut it out. Oh, I used to watch that show all the time. The most beautiful girl of all time, Kimmy B Gibbler. <laughs> Only because she had giblets, like me. Kim <laughs> it's me. I got giblets. <laughs> They're doing a reboot. What do you think about that? I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, here, per, all right. Here's how I see usually shows that are just just awesome the way it was, or movies, or TV shows, or sometimes even games. Sometimes I'm not saying I'm not saying like. Some things should just be left alone or left dead, but sometimes, sometimes it's like when things are known to be good or classics or masterpieces. For I know, you know the way people remember it. Sometimes it's better just to leave it as it is and maybe come up with something that maybe continues the story. Of course, or maybe. But it just ran out of ideas. They just decided to take something old and make it new, and they happen sometimes. Sometimes it's success. But Full House, I mean, we, we saw what happened with Boy Meets World. I think it's called Girl Meets World. Girl Meets World. And now they're doing Full House. I mean, what's next? Different strokes uh, in reverse? <laughs> I can imagine. No, no, no. The thing about Girl Meets World, that's a continuing afterwards of Boy Meets World. That makes with sense. With the so them have a kid. Well, that's true. At least, at least they had the characters from the show. Yeah, that's true. So I get, I give you points on that one. That's a good point. But Full House, I don't want to see another Olsen twin. I really don't. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> so weird. And talk about running out of ideas. Get ready for uh, this. This one is the weirdest thing of the year. It's not. It's based off of the show, but it's turning into a movie. Here we go. Baywatch. Look at the guy in the I'm, right. Yeah, I mean, that's the rock. That is the rock. This guy has to be in every movie for some reason. Let's let's count let's count them, shall we? What GI Joe? We got uh, <clears throat> um Hercules. Oh, Hercules. yeah, he played Doom all the time. Hmm. 
Hurricane he was, was terrible. Oh, oh, by the way, speaking of speaking of um The Rock, by the way, he's playing Black Adam in the new Shazam movie. You mean this one? That would be it. That would be it. <laughs> what is your take on both of these movies and his run? It's just The Rock. It's like I think he's mainly only good for like. It's like I don't think he's well lit for like to, personally, for my opinion, for like serious all out movies. Like I think he's good enough to like just show off like you know because he got all the super soldier muscle on him. I mean, look at the guy. The guy's like six, almost seven feet tall. I know. The guy's a freaking Hulk. Hmm. So I think I, personally, I think that's that's the, I think it's basically what he's known for just his image and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Like for when it comes to actually playing like a serious all out role, like in. Baywatch, the way you know, where you, that the, that whole movie that used to be played, you know, by David Hasselhoff, the guy that did Knight Rider. Oh so, yeah, Michael yeah. Knight. Michael Knight. That was a great show. I know. Um, I know. But um, but but again, that like that those like I said, this this is one of those. This again, this is one of the uh, conclusions where I say that some things are just better left like the way it was. Unless you want to come out with something that maybe continues the story, but. When you're just taking something that was already created and then retweaking it just to appear to the younger audience so it gets some quick amount of mula mula. Mula mula. And it's just like, eh, you guys are desperate. It Here, is. They watched the movie. I mean, come on. What are they going to do? Bring Chan and Tatum in? I mean, what's going on? Michael Sarah, Jonah Hill, Denzel Washington? I'm going off here, you know. Megan yeah, Fox? Why not put Megan Fox where you're at it? She ruined enough <laughs> movies in the last twenty years. If she's been around, I mean, <laughs> you know, if I, if I had to say though, like, if anything, if if The Rock wanted to be maybe in a superhero movie that's concerning around Shazam, you know, or what he used to be called Captain Marvel at the time, um, <clears throat> then personally, why does he play Captain Marvel? Again, remember, Black Adam is a villain character. Yeah. You know what I'm saying he got basically the same power of Shazam. Like, all he has to do is shout Shazam, and he can basically just pick up somebody and throw them right into the lightning strike and he'll be dead. Oh, yeah. Or just talk to whatever, but... I guess you know, he has his image. Character. I mean, he has his image. You know, sort of. He got, you could put hair on him. I've seen other images of him. He looks pretty good. But you know what? They're just saturating the market with Dwayne Rock Johnson. And now he wants to be in Star Wars. That's what? Yes. Is he the new, is he the new uh, Dark Force? Hmm? Mark Hamill, what's going on? I know it's not your fault, but I'm just saying. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mark Hamill looks good. I mean, Mark, Hamill, I think Mark Hamill looks good. Of course, he's a legend. I mean, he got the whole beard and everything now. Like he's looking legit, like the original Obi Wan Kenobi, Ben Kenobi style. Like he yeah. looks great. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for that movie to come out. Of course, Luke. I, yeah, I, Luke. I, I, I saw. I'm saying this right now. I'm calling it. Luke turns to the next Darth Vader. I'm calling it right now. I'm he's calling it too. It's, it's yeah. the perfect twist. Uh, if you read, if you actually read the Star Wars story, the actual lore, somewhere, uh, somewhere in the um, in the actual story, he actually does turn dark somewhere. Look at that. Like, like somehow he actually does. In fact, in fact, just to just to even conclude it some more, like. If you and this is another reason why I recommend watching a show called Death Battle, because they, they they did a match between him and Harry Potter, and they I read some of uh, where he um, at first he had like a whole two lightsabers right now and uh, like you know his you know his green one then he has a, a short red one that gives him a better advantage. He's a Jedi Master of both the twins of Han Solo and you know you know they're not Han Solo but they're kids mm. with Leia. And he has, I think he has a kid of his own. He has a wife of his own. But eventually, he does turn to the dark side. So it's like if they do this right, this I'll, can probably beat out all six of those movies together. Maybe awesome. just the, the last three that were made. Maybe that. Nothing's gonna beat or the original. Back. I'm sorry. I'm just being a fanboy <laughs> or or fan chicken. Fan, <laughs> fan bird. I'm being a fan bird. Fan bird. <laughs> Nothing beats the original three. I'm sorry. <laughs> the other three, yes, you can do that. Jar Jar Binks is beatable. Okay, <laughs> oh. Yeah, oh my God, Jar Jar Binks. Oh. You, 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 you ever watch um show called How It Should Have Ended? I watched some of them. 
Like, you've seen the one with Star Wars Episode One, like, just the first one where Jar Jar Binks first shows up, and then, you remember, you remember that's the scene with the, like, the droid and his bike thing, just shoot, trying to shoot down a Jedi, he's deflecting it, <laughs> he takes a light through the flex to ride a Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> and, Binks. oh my god, and Obi-Wan Kenobi <laughs> shows up, I'm saying, no, I just heard a great disturbance of the Force, you know, that I heard everyone shot, or every fanboy shouting, and... But in awe, and then finally, suddenly silence. Suddenly, silence. <laughs> Sorry about that. My phone kind of. It's okay. It's perfect. Okay. <laughs> no, it's, but... it's yeah. I, I have to see that one. I see some of those. Those are pretty good. I like the Superman and Batman ones. I don't know why. They, in the cafe, those are the best. <laughs> I saw the one with Spider Man too. <laughs> you ever seen that one with the Amazing Spider Man? Bring her back. Bring her back. Tell me, Superman. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm crazy right now, man. Bring her back. Go around the whole world like you did in the other movie. Bring her back. <laughs> oh, that was great. I just recommend anyone watching that. If you, <coughs> I'll put a link to that. <laughs> we're going to move on to the next one. The All right. We're going to move on to the video game side. Still throwing out there. I still, just throwing one last thing. I'm still throwing out there. You should have played Captain Marvel. I'm just saying that. Um. Otherwise, oh, my God. Oh. Dude, I, I, I would love to see who this character is. Like, there's been so many speculations that he could be Jason Todd, which would almost entirely make sense, almost, because he did come up with a bat suit of his own with armor and guns and everything. That'd be cool. Right. I kind of wish this character had a cape, though. Who do, you, who, do you talk, who do you think is Who are your speculations? Say again? Who are your speculations to be the Arkham Knight? Um... My thoughts are Jason Todd, maybe Hush, maybe um, Prometheus, if you ever heard of him. Mm -hmm. And my God, he's bad. Um, there's a character called Wraith. There's, excuse me. Um, it could be, you know, um, maybe Bruce Wayne's clone. It could be, like, so far, this is the top, or oh, oh, could possibly be, like, Talia Al Ghul. Yeah. Oh, it's, not talk, huh? It may be her. Maybe Talia. Maybe her. Yeah, I think it, it could. One of the minds is Talia. It could be her, because she died in Arkham City. Yeah, so did her father. Yeah, but you know about the Lazarus Pit? They probably went to the Lazarus Pit. I still think that I think two people are behind this. I think the Joker went to the Lazarus Pit, and I think is that is Rajal Ghul. <laughs> Maybe he went. To, you never know. But I also got other speculation. You said Hush. It makes sense because yeah. he escaped Arkham City. And here's another one. Shiva. Shiva? Shiva? Yeah, I think Shiva made because she was in Arkham Origin and she gave some clues that she'll see him again. That's true. She might be there. I don't know if you play that game. But, um, and she could be Batman. She's got good skills. I mean, he could be a female. I mean, it, it could also be if you you know the character Azrael. Yeah, I was thinking about him too. That could be, but he's pretty obvious. Maybe it's Alfred. I mean, he that, did say in Arkham City that you know that you know that Batman was going to be the the answer or something like that. Like he's going to be the savior to the city in the future, where it's really dark or something. Like that. He's, he's like gave like he was giving like a, like a like a. It was like a preacher to him, like something of the future where Bruce Wayne is really needed for that certain time period. Well, someone's gonna have to go, go something like that. I don't know. Like it was his destiny or something like that. I don't know. Like yeah, he said he's the prophecy. But somebody with a gadgets. Hey, you never know. It could be. But you were Go for it. Go ahead. It could be Nightwing. Could be. Never know. And he maybe at the end he has to kill him. <laughs> but <laughs> it's too much. You aren't no. Like, like, one thing that somehow got me thinking, if they did this, this would be, like, oh, my God, like, a super amazing twist. Like, remember, you see the fact that it's Scarecrow behind the whole thing right now, right? Yes. Like, it, like to me, like, if, if it was possible where somehow, like, they, like he's, maybe he's not a real character and somehow he's actually, like, he's actually a figment of Bruce, like, Bruce Wayne's, like, mind or something like that, that like quite possibly he's... Like maybe Scarecrow must have poisoned him or something like that, and then he's actually maybe he's just seeing him like come to life to just because maybe he's like it's mentally getting to him or something like that. Exactly. Like to me, 
something about those some like a really amazing twist about that. I don't know. That could be it, because you know, Scarecrow is the main villain. So I, I was sort of thinking the same thing, but yours is very complex and good. I, th I was thinking maybe, if, I know this is a stretch, that the Batman we've been playing is not the real Batman. Maybe that's the real Batman, right? And the, what we're playing is the clone. Yeah, but you got to remember, this guy has guns, and Bruce Wayne is against guns. Maybe he changed. I don't know. I didn't write it. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past it though. I mean, yeah, that's yeah, true. You never know. But the thing is, I don't know. It could be a clone, like you said, but it could be a figure of his imagination. It may be somebody else. He, what he's seeing is not who he really is. Maybe it is <laughs> Jason Todd, like you said, and all he sees is himself. Wow, how deep! <laughs> Man, we got really deep in this. That's what I wanted. So you think it's one of them? You think it's Jason Todd? Maybe Talia, right? I'm thinking. Also, those you ever heard two characters called Prometheus, another one called Wraith? Yeah, I heard of them. The reason why I don't think it's them because it's not epic enough for the you know for the casual fans. Mm. You, know, you know, they want they want to put somebody that the fans don't know. I mean, you know, the casual fans. You know, True. That'd be something like the Joker, someone they already know from the other games. It won't be the penguin. I mean, come on. Look at that suit. <laughs> That's weird. Well, this brings me to something else of Batman. Even though you haven't seen it, you know the characters, right? Sure. I already hmm, messed it up. All right. Gotham. I don't know. What is your take on it? I know you haven't seen it, but what is your take on these characters? <clears throat> I like it. Yeah, like, like they, they're trying to get an origin story. That sorry, go ahead. Do you what about the Bruce Wayne character? What, is he appealing? I mean, does he look like him? I mean, like I can actually take I can actually take him appealing because gotta remember this is this is around a time where Bruce Wayne's parents were dead, murdered. Yeah. So, and yes, I've not seen the show yet. I'm still regretting that. I'm really busy. Well, it's okay. <laughs> it's, o but, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, basically, um, I've seen the show. Is they done a good job so far. They need to improve upon things. Bruce is perfect. You know, when his parents die, if you watch the show, when he dies with okay. his family, it's like an Easter egg. They basically have um, him laying on the floor in a Batman signal. You know the Batman. Uh, you know the the crescent that he wears. Yeah. That's how he's shaped. If you look at the episode, just look out for that. But okay. Let's check out something that's interesting. Let me see. You got Commissioner Gordon. Let's see if I could pull it up. I can see him. Cool. Not too bad. He's done a great job so far. I wish you'd seen the show, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay, I'll just I'll just tell the fans and you what's going sort of what's going on and what shake his mind. Edward Nigma. Not doing good so far. Really? Real cliche. Yeah, you figure it'd be so deep. He's just saying a lot of riddles for no reason. Anyway. He should, he's, supposed be, he's supposed to be like the intelligent genius always trying to outsmart you over something because he's just a very high Q intellect character. It is. They're just very cliche in this. I'll get to that part in a minute. <clears throat> there we go. Here comes Harvey. Hmm. He does a great <laughs> job of leading Commissioner Gordon. Okay. Until he becomes Commissioner Gordon. He's detective for now. <laughs> <laughs> Fish. Ah, uh, Jada Pinkett Smith. She needed a job, so she they decided to hire her for this. <laughs> I'm not impressed with her so far. I mean, I see what they're doing, but I predict the penguin comes and kills her. That's my prediction. I'm sorry, kids. If I'm talking about killing, I'm sorry. All right. Mm -hmm. My favorite character in the show? Cobble Pop. Yep. Penguin. Oh, he's the penguin. Best character on the show. Hands down. Hands down. The best character on the show. When you when you look at this and not see the show, you may go, how is he the best character? He plays him so well. His character is so deep. You'll see. You'll see what I mean. And, hmm. Let's see if I get, no, that's Gotham. Sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm messing up already. 
Hmm, let me see. There's one more person. Mm, I'm sorry, I'm a real patient chicken. Mm, I can't find it. What's my other favorite character? I'm looking for it. Oh, I guess I didn't get it. Well, it was Catwoman. <laughs> she looks like Michelle Pfeiffer. I, I, I do remember. I do remember the poster of her face, though. She does a lot, a lot like Michelle Pfeiffer. It's a perfect. It's a perfect look. I don't want to look like Anne Hathaway anyway. But she's a kid. Yeah. <laughs> don't get me started on that. Nobody talks about her. Who does? Like, just come on. Boring. <clears throat> She's really boring. Nobody wants to talk about her. I mean, but yeah, but the, this one is pretty good. She's, she's the two best characters on the show. Let's talk about this movie. Hmm. Oh my God, dude. That's one of the hands down the greatest movies of the whole year. Huh, in a long time, too. Agreed. <laughs> I was shocked. I came in thinking like, oh, eh, it's going to be all right. And I was like, whoa. Like, what? This was all cool. that? <laughs> what are your thoughts on this movie? I friggin' love it. Sorry, was that too strong? You need to do better than that. <laughs> That's not strong enough. Okay. <laughs> it was beautiful. It was funny. Star Lord was just dumb as he could be. I mean, I would think, like, what? I think, you know, you think the Guardians of the Galaxy, like, for those who are. <clears throat> But those who know the Guardians of the Galaxy, you know, characters like Star-Lord, Rocket Raccoon, and Groot, I am Groot, <laughs> Drax, and, um, what's that blue girl, what's that green girl's name? I keep forgetting her name, too. I'm not a big fan of the comic, but, um, I just call her Zoe, because <laughs> she's my <laughs> wife. <laughs> she's my wife, that's what she's going to be. I'm in love with her since Star Trek, I'm sorry, I have a human crush. <laughs> It's a bird crush on a human crush. If okay. That, if that makes any sense. No, I feel you. I'm going to fly <laughs> over and give her an invitation to the farm. You do that, my man. That was awesome. Get it. <laughs> got, you got that, Zoe? This is man for you, right here. It's okay. If she can hang around <clears throat> a raccoon, she can hang around me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's right. Even Bautista was good in this movie. Oh yeah, he. Oh my God, was he, he? I mean, I actually, I, I mean, I actually, I almost. At first, I almost was starting like feeling. I almost was not starting to feel for the fact that sometimes it's like I look at wrestlers. It's like they're good at showing their, you know, muscle, but it's like for actual being actors, I'm just like, eh, John yeah. Cena. Usually, t oh, don't mention John Cena. Oh, he's terrible. Hmm. <laughs> Marky Mark 2.0 <laughs> slash. What's his name? Matt Damon slash... Oh, boy, they're all the same people. <laughs> well, but yeah, he did pretty good. He did good. I think Rocket Raccoon was my favorite character. I don't know if anyone's yeah, seen oh. the movie, but watch it. Rocket Raccoon was my favorite. Not because we're animals. and not being biased here. It's like... Don't get me wrong, though. Like, Rocket Raccoon, like, for, again, this is for those who know the Guardians of the Galaxy, y'all know, y'all should know that Rocket Raccoon is, like, the most... should be the most talkative character... Throughout the entire movie, or just throughout, you know, throughout the entire team, because he's just he does that like all the time. Like, or oh, yeah. him and Deadpool, I don't know who has it worse. I, I don't know. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard to determine. But Rocky Rick has has a chip over his shoulder. <laughs> he's he's bothered by everything. That's what I Seriously. like about him. That's what I like about him. He speaks his mind. Yeah. <laughs> he told him to take that leg. He's like, what do I need that for? <laughs> oh, he's got good pranks. Oh, he's good. He's good. I gotta give him A plus. Groot. Groot. But, <laughs> but it's like I'm. Oh my god. I'm. I'm look. I'm looking at. Oh, how did? did you, oh, did you see Groot? Yeah. Tree character. Yeah, he was great. He was cute. <laughs> I, I was in love. It, How are it, you it, doing? Boy. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I am Groot. <laughs> Yeah, I, I loved it. So there was a, um, <laughs> Groot was good. I, I can't. This was the best movie of the year. I don't think nothing's gonna beat it. Unless I'm you think, so far. Go for it. Sorry, go ahead. Unless you think Annie's gonna beat it. Who? Annie, the new Annie. Annie. Oh, let me show you. No, oh that. 
Oh, oh yes! I'm gonna do that! Uh, tomorrow! Are you gonna tomorrow, play a card here? Of you! I'll be honest. Yeah. I'll be honest here. I don't care. I don't <laughs> care! You know why? <laughs> no, who likes Andy anyway? 2014, who cares? Mm. I love the kids, but Andy is really annoying. Yeah, come on. I don't really... Mm, I don't care about some rich kids being rich. I know she came from a poor family, but come on. <laughs> and how not life, blah, 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 blah. Who cares? There's poverty going on in the world. <laughs> not a problem is going on. We worry about some little girl singing. How does she change the world? Come on. How does she change the world? She's not an Avenger. She's not Guardians of the Galaxy. She didn't save the world. Running around singing. Singing that to tomorrow. Tomorrow. I love you. Tomorrow. I'm sorry. I, I'm here's, sorry. One thing I, here's one thing I know. Is I'm not, again, I'm not trying to be racist when I say this. It's like, then she got to be, you know, it just reminds me of the Karate Kid. Like, it always got to be what I do that automatically it ha she, he or she has to be black. Karate Kid. Though it ain't Jaden Smith, you know, Will Smith's kid. Andy, <laughs> though in this chick. Like, what else? Let's, 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 let's try it. Um, the Red Ranger, uh, it's going to be a black guy. Actually, no, actually, don't want to be a black guy. Sure. <laughs> Red Ranger? Oi, oi, which one? I don't know, but hmm, it's, been, it's just weird lately. But this one, I'm going to put it on the movie itself. Like, why would you want to make this movie again? Why? Why? <laughs> what you mean, go out with the wind where you're at it? With, with Chad and Tatum and, and, and Mighty Cyrus where you're at it. Put Justin Bieber in there. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. That was a rant. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to the next subject. I don't like this movie. <laughs> I'm going to go to a game. You want to play a game? Yeah, sure. All right. This is what I'm going to do. Ready? What I'm going to do is I'm going to describe something. Right? I'll tell you if it's a movie, a game, or a cartoon. And you gotta tell me what it is, alright? All right. You know like they do the movie descriptions, right? They, you only see a movie and describe it in a weird way? Okay, mm -hmm. ready? Alright. We are, we are four brothers. We live underground. And we fight pretty well. Teenage and Ninja Turtles. Oh, man, that was easy! I'm trying to make it hard as possible! Man, that was easy! <laughs> You got it. Okay, I was in easy. Uh, I'll let you out. Don't just, cheat. Do not cheat. I know you cheat. As a recommendation, do not watch the movie. Just saying. Do not watch. There's a review. Go to retro trailers. There's a review. Oh yeah, that's true. That then Poo Poo did it. He did it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another one. We're a set of five superheroes who copy off of every other superhero, who are famous for no reason, who destroys the world. Much more than Man of Steel, right up, and also f and, and falls down and screams for no reason. And they all graduate for no, you know, impossibly graduate while they're never in class fighting against criminals. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. There you go. That fit the description perfectly, didn't it? <laughs> they started they, I mean, how did they pass school? It, man, beats me. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're fighting crime during class. I mean, you must have missed your notes. They must have been cheating. I don't know how they graduated. I mean, I, I keep telling myself maybe they're doing it on an off day or somehow they're fighting crime fast and they can run back to class. I, I don't know. It's got to be summer school. They must have went to, you know what? They cheated. I'm telling you. I don't care. They cheated. <laughs> they tried to be like Voltron. <laughs> Very awkward. <laughs> I'll give you another well, one. I'll give you another they one. Talk about, they talk about a, re a reboot movie for that, by the way. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to pretend it doesn't exist. But then again, you I'm got not, it. Yeah, because I'm a Voltron fan. I can't betray the best robot of all time. And he's bigger. I'm sorry. Power Rangers have no chance. But they want to fight each other because Voltron likes good people. That's right. All right. I'm sorry. We're not going to debate that. It might get ugly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think we're five random uh, Boy Scout, pe you know, characters who cover every sense of the world or element, and we when to combine, we both come, we actually access this weird character 
who comes by to save our universe. Not our universe, our world. Uh, Captain Planet. Oh, man, I try to make you weird and hard. I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> it's Captain Planet. It's Captain Planet. <laughs> Unbelievable. I can't believe he got that. Okay. You know what? I'll give you another one. Ready? Yeah, sure. I'm half naked. I find a guy. <laughs> I have two forms. I have an animal with me, and I fight against someone with no flesh who lives in a castle while I live also in a similar place. Say that one more time. Ooh, this is a good one. I'm half naked. Half naked superhero who has an animal who basically saves the universe and has an enemy who has no flesh. Oh, He Man. Da -da -da. Half naked. I have the power. Well, I, anyway. I sound like Bill Cosby. I'm sorry. I had to say it. <laughs> You're so wrong, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> There he goes, He-Man, Masters. All right, let's try another one. All right, we oh, are. Come... Huh? So, uh, so go ahead. Okay. We well, had you had a comment about it. No, I was gonna say that um, they like there's a comic book within the DC universe that has them fighting the DC universe. He-Man. Yeah. Well, I feel I feel bad for DC. <laughs> <laughs> I think Oracle could beat them all. Just saying. Or maybe Cringer. Da, 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 da. I'll just go with Superman, but yeah, okay. Well, maybe. Superman versus He-Man. Who is the master of the universe? Hmm. Superman could actually fly, but He-Man could be stronger. Yeah, but Superman, all he had to do was go into the sun, and he's basically, basically a god character. Well, he could no actually summon the sun. He'll get the sorceress. I'm just kidding. That's a Batman argument. Oops, sorry, Batman. I'm sorry, Batman fans. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I used the Batman argument. Using different artilleries and other people. Oh, well. We're going to the next one. We're a, group right. of, we're a group of superheroes from outer space. And eventually we crash. And now we do is fight against a very old character who has a second form. Say that one more time. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Oh, basically we're a group of superheroes from outer space. When we crash, we have to fight a villain who's very old with two forms. Uh, crash here is a big, big clue. Crash here? It's a cartoon. So, sounds like something I see. Sounds like some... Um... It's a so, I know the name. I know the, no, I know the name. I know the name. It's um. Uh... Sounds like back almost sounds like Thundercats. You got it. it. You got it. They came from outer space. They crash on the earth. They fight someone very old, Mumra, who has two forms. Oh sweet. Oh, you like that, right? I just came up with that. So... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Loose. Oh yes. Okay. We're a group of of. All right. We're. I got another one. We're a group of competitors. Right from around the world, joining All up right. to go against each other for no apparent reason. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a cartoon or a movie. All right. Wait. It's... Go, right, go ahead. What? It's not something you watch. Is this something you play? You got it. All right, you said so. It's a, a group of people that fight all, from all around the world, right? Yes. It's like a bunch of games, I'm guessing that that has that <clears throat> to down, down. My thoughts are either Soul Calibur or Tekken, I believe, or even. But somehow my mind is somehow sticking out saying Street Fighter. You got it, because that's universal. <laughs> Street Fighters around the world. Soul Calibur is from a time period, but that was pretty good. That was yes. pretty good. I gotta give it to you. That was good. How about this one? All right. I well, speaking of, go for it. Just one second. Speaking of Street Fighter, there for those who haven't gotten a chance yet, there is a on 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 YouTube by the way, there's a group of people who made like a really awesome Street Fighter show that could probably eventually turn to a movie called Street Fighter Assassin's Fist. Mm -hmm. The closest thing you're ever going to get 
to a good live action Street Fighter anything. It's all I remember that. That's that's a pretty good show. I haven't caught up on it. I mean, besides the bad special effects, it's a pretty good show. Yeah, besides that. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. I, I'll have to that- give it to you. I think, I, think, I, think they, I think they're coming out with a new one called Street Fighter World Warrior that takes place after that. Yeah, World Warrior is actually the first one. The first Street Fighter game. Yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the first one. So that's pretty cool. They do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a... um. Hmm. Yeah, actually, I like the anime version better. But if you kids watch it, watch the PG. The PG version. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple parts in there that's not appropriate. So I'm going to give a warning out there. I want to make bad recommendations. <laughs> we all know what I'm talking about. And I'm sorry. I took I took the bullet for everybody. Bad. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I was curious. <laughs> Look, all right. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. I'm a regular employee of any kind who goes and against extraordinary enemies while... A woman I'm trying to save, who's not my girlfriend, I tried to capture back from someone she kidnapped. From someone she kidnapped? No, that, that, someone that she's been kidnapped by. Sorry, I, I worded that wrong. Wait, how? Tell me that one more time. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to make it hard. Um, I'm a regular employee, just like anyone else, who goes against like, extraordinary um enemies to try to save. So a woman who's not his girlfriend, who's been kidnapped, and is not taken. <laughs> <laughs> we won't talk about that. Oh boy. Uh, uh. I'm probably wrong, but so you're probably calling this one Mario Brothers. You got it. Oh, perfect. Snap. Oh, you're good. Regular employee. He's a plumber. Yeah, true. Extraordinary <laughs> enemies. The turtles. The princess is not his girlfriend. He's um, not? Maybe now, not? but back then he wasn't. She was just a princess. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's okay, true. how about this one? <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, right? Yeah. I believe that one of them is going to be really hard at the end, but I'm going to leave that one. Yeah, all right. I'm a very furry animal who's basically trying to fight against a big fat guy. Who basically likes to kidnap my animal friends, but always gets away somehow. Free animal. Yeah, you know, fight the big fat guy. I don't use my I use my feet when I move, but I don't use oh, my okay. arms and feet when I. Fight. Okay, okay. Who, who is it? Santa Hedgehog. You got it. <laughs> big fat guy. I'm sorry, anybody out there is offended. Especially... Eggman, I mean, Robotnik. <laughs> no, actually, no, thank you. Whatever. Especially Mr. Fluffy, which I don't care at all. Oh, I don't like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't stand him. <laughs> okay, I didn't put it here, but you know what? I remembered it. Okay, this is difficult. I don't know if you remember this game. All right. We are two brothers who are in a crime city who basically is trying to get back a woman of the same interest. Brothers who like the same woman who is kidnapped, and they have to try to get her back. Uh, I, I, uh, I know the game. I just can't remember what it's called. Uh, it's um, it, uh, oh, I knew the name. Why? I knew. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. This is uh, the, the crop. Yeah. Um, is that the name? No, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. Maybe it's Birdseed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm um, just waiting for it. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Um. I know. I know what game it is. I just don't remember the name of it. <sighs> you think it is? I give you a clue. It had a movie. I like it, but the most people did it. I mean, I, I, I never saw that movie. Like, I think I had an interview with you with that, too. Maybe. Oh, yeah, I think you did. 
If you, well, yeah, what, um, what is it? Can you describe it? It's like what? It's like if I get the first letter of it, then I know exactly what the name of it is. I know, I know what you're talking about. I don't, I don't remember the title. Can you name, name the characters? <laughs> I'm being bad right now. It's um. I know I'm probably not. No, nah, no. Nah, yeah, you got me here. It's Streets of Rage. No, but you're very close. Streets of Rage was actually inspired by this game. Really? Yes. Before Streets of Rage. Oh, got it. I found it. Now I know what it is. What is <laughs> but it? But you already got it. I already lost this one, didn't I? <laughs> uh oh. There you go. So what is it? Double Dragon. You got it. Got it. You got it. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't remember the name for nothing. I know what you're talking about. Billy and Jimmy Lee, or Bimmy. Like they made the mistake, remember? <laughs> yeah, they went after the same girl, Marion. And then she died in part two. What type of storyline is that for kids? So Seriously? Yeah, in part two, she dies. Oh, wow. They, I forgot how they did it, but I'm not going to say it here. <laughs> well, we're going to end it here, buddy. It was really good having you. Yeah. We covered a lot of stuff. Still with a couple little more on Gotham, though, but my bad. It's okay. It's okay. We, you know, next time, we'll get more in-depth. That show's going to go on for a while. So far, <laughs> Catwoman and Penguin. You know? I just don't like the fact that they, she likes to be called Cat. She should be called Selena, even though that's her name. Yeah, what? Just what she... Uh, hey. It's weird. I know. They changed it a bit. I mean, she's... It's like giving it away. I'm a burglar. Call me burglar. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Should have heard that from the Hamburglar. Look how he got caught. He doesn't even work there anymore. <laughs> Last time you see the Hamburglar. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, it was good, BG Fox. I, I love the outfit. I love the Thank accent, you. too. I appreciate you. I'm going to have you back. This was a That's good all, experiment. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing this on Skype and YouTube, so you know, I appreciate you doing this with me. So here, same here, yo. Anytime you want to find me, I'm back. Yeah, definitely. Totally. And represent us chickens in Kentucky. It's very tough over there. You got it. Thank you. I appreciate it. So I want to thank everybody for coming on the show and broadcast, and we'll be back again. I want everyone to have a nice day, and please. Please take care of your chickens. Take care, everybody. Bye.